All right, hi guys. Um, I've had some problems with the computer not starting, with the power plugged in, and the power switch on the side switched on. The lights come on, and I get a caps lock light blinking. I've done some research, and it looks like that's your battery problems. You need to remove the battery. There is some other options of pushing windows and the B key and powering on. This didn't work for me. I went for opening up the back and removing the battery. Let me show you how simple that was. I've already moved the screws on this uh, HP Pavilion 360. You just turn it over. You've got 11 screws to remove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You'll see there's two that are concealed underneath the little rubber grommets that work as the the uh, basically the underside feet little rubbers to stop the, the laptop sliding around so once those are removed you still need to use like a credit card or something like that to clip it away from the face and it lifts up but you've got to be careful when lifting this up there is a small little I don't know what you even call it it's a tab Let's see if we can see inside there. There we go. That little tab there. Yeah, you're not focusing too well. All right, it's a little tab with a, a small little fold-up release key, you could call it, I guess. That just folds up, and then the tab will slip out, and you can remove the whole backing plate. Move that to the side. I started off by removing this battery, that didn't help for me. What I've then done is gone to this battery over here, and this little white lug over there, that's the connector, this small little white lug over here. We there, that one there. You gotta just push it out, it slides out. It seemed a little bit difficult at one time, I thought it wasn't gonna come out, but it eventually came out. Once it was out, I plugged the power in. The computer took a while to start up, but it eventually started up. And then I put this back in. Well, I, I switched the power off, shut down and everything after it had it all lined up itself. Shut down again, took the power out and I reconnected this. And then I powered up again and it was working. So now I've reconnected this battery. I'm going to close it up and then uh, try the power again, but I think it's all working fine now. So if you have the same problems, hopefully that will give you the solution you need as well.